Hello, this is Ed with Easy Camper Rental. Gonna give you a walk through here quick on this uh, Thor Freedom Elite driving motorhome. Uh, so we'll start uh, by walking around this side and kind of showing you what we have on the outside here. So there is one slide out here that will come out to about here. So if you are parking, just make sure you got a couple feet next to you. This first compartment's the generator. You should not have to do anything in there. Second compartment is storage. Uh, not a whole lot for you in there. This third compartment here, this will be your um, friend for the dumping of the RV. So you open this up here. Inside here is where your black tank and your gray tank. So this valve here is for your black tank. This one here is your gray tank. There is another gray tank valve on the other side of the camper. I will show you that valve also. Water heater should not need to use anything back there. Inside this compartment is your electrical. Key in the right way. And your electrical connection is in here. This will pull out about 30 feet. There is a hole on the bottom of this so that you can run the cord through the bottom and then relock this up. Fuel tank here, just run 87 gasoline. And then inside this compartment here is where you will fill the water tank. Just take this valve off, stick the garden hose in there provided. Fill your water tank up. When it's full, it'll start leaking out this side over here. I don't want you to hook up to the city water. Just use the water and the water pump. Down here is where you can drain that water tank if you need to. Otherwise, just keep it shut there. And then we have some storage back here. Got your sewer hose in there, your garden hose, some other storage. There's a full size spare in there. Uh, some stuff for leveling if you need to level out. Go around back. It's another way to get into that compartment. And this one here is just another way to get into that compartment. Alright, we can go inside. Inside here, we're going to have some switches. You're going to have um, a few light switches, step switch um, for a step light. Um, then you can come on in. That switch down here that was just pointed at is your master control for off or master control for on. It should be on when you get the camper, so you should not have to worry about that switch. In here, this is your master control panel. This is where you're going to use the button to do the slide. This is where you're going to use the generator if you do. Hold this button down for a little bit until it red light flashes and then hold it up and that tank will, or the generator will start up for you. Um, you have your LP gas for the water heater. You have your water pump switch. They're all labeled there. You also have your switch for extending the slide. Down here is going to be your heater and your air conditioner. Just turn it to whichever one you want, and you'll be going from there. Uh, one thing I didn't mention yet, uh, if you're hooked up to power and the air conditioner, the outlets aren't working, see if your microwave is on. If your microwave doesn't have any numbers on it, then your power is not hooked up. Check the circuit breaker, check the panel, check your plug. Just make sure everything's plugged in right. Um, back here we have the fridge, you can turn it to auto or gas. Um, if you're just going to be camping without electricity, you should keep it on gas. If you're going to be switching between gas and electric, you can keep it on auto. Um, inside here is the bathroom. Shower in there, the toilet flush switch is underneath the toilet. And 
that is the Thor Freedom Elite up in the front. You're going to have just a regular, um, kind of like Econoline van drive. I mean, it just drives like a van, except you're a little longer. You want to take your corners a little wider and watch out at gas pump areas. That's where you're going to have your most issues. Um, but with the awning, the switches down here, and if you're not sitting underneath the awning, don't just put the awning out to try looking cool like the other campers. <laughs> the awnings are not covered under insurance, and they are the most um, wrecked thing on a camper. Uh, so if you're not just sitting underneath it, don't use it. If it's raining or you need a little shade and you're out there, feel free to use it. Just put it away when you leave the campsite. All right, this is Ed with Easy Camper Rental. This was the Thor Freedom Elite. Thank you.